Okay, now that you know how to find the formula mass of a compound, let me show you how to use the formula mass. You're often going to be asked to convert between grams and moles and moles and grams. And here's how it gets done. First of all, the formula mass tells you how many grams one mole of a substance will weigh. For example, according to the periodic table, sodium is 23.0, oxygen is 16.0, and hydrogen is 1.0 for a total combined formula mass of 40.0 grams per mole. Now that's how many grams one mole weighs. So how many moles would 80 grams be? Well, I can tell you right off the bat, this is easy, right? Because 80 is twice as much as 40, therefore 80 would have to be two moles, right? One mole is 40 grams, 80 grams would be two moles. 20 grams would be half a mole, and so on and so on. But how do we do this mathematically? Well, we let the unit solve the problems for us. We have 80.0 grams, and we have 40.0 grams per mole. How do we cancel out grams and be left with moles? Division. Division will cancel out the grams and leave us with moles. 2.00 moles. Why did I put those extra two zeros in? Come on. Three sig figs, three sig figs. So I need three sig figs in my answer. So if you want to convert grams to moles, what you need to do is take the grams you're given and divide it by the gram formula mass. This way your grams will cancel and leave you with moles. On the other hand, if you're given moles and you want to get to grams, we've got 3.5 moles and we have 40.0, because we're still dealing with sodium hydroxide, grams per mole. How do we cancel out moles and be left with grams? Multiply. Multiply. If you're given moles, multiply. Three and a half times 40 equals 140 grams. Let's see. Two sig figs, three sig figs. We want two sig figs in our final answer, and that's how many grams. Does so that make sense, right? Because if each mole weighs 40 grams, three and a half moles is going to be three and a half times as many grams. I mean, if it costs you $40 to buy something, and you buy three and a half of those things, it's going to cost you three and a half times $40, 140 bucks. Bring your credit card. So here's a little diagram you can use. If you're given grams and you want to get to moles, take your grams and divide by gram formula mass. If you're given moles and you want to get to grams, multiply by gram formula mass. And you'll be able to solve your problem.